How does it feel knowing that your film's about to you know, be released to the world? I'll start with you and then I'll move on to you. It's extraordinary uh, thinking that our film is just about to be released into the world. Um, Katya and Reesecraft, the, the subjects of our film, they toured the world with their footage 30 years ago. And so the fact that their images are about to travel the world again, um, it's so thrilling for us. It, it really means so much. And for you, what is it that made you want to help tell this story in particular? Yeah, I mean, I think Maurice and Katya Croft are incredible teachers of so many lessons, in particular, what it is to live for what you love and what it is to live a life filled with love. And I think for that, the ability to tell that story also wrapped into this like beautiful bow of a present that is a story about about science and about getting closer to our, our non-human natural world and and figuring out a way to, to learn to, to love it and once we love it, to be able to care for it. Um, and so for me, that to be a part of any project like that is incredible. It almost felt like a documentary about going into space because it is, there is so much of the world that we don't know. It's that unknown element, I think, which also makes it so special. Yeah, absolutely. I, I do feel like Katya and Maurice were such explorers, you know, of unknown worlds. And that was something that they took very seriously. Um, they were not afraid of the unknown at all. Instead, they were drawn in very deeply. Uh, they had this sense of um, that volcanoes were beyond human understanding. That's actually a refrain Maurice in particular would say a lot of the time. Uh, but regardless, they wanted to kind of map this, these new worlds that seemed like outer space, but are very much like the stuff of the Earth. It's literally how the Earth is made. Um, but it was constantly surreal real and mind-boggling for us to think like our planet looks like this so it was really a joy to get to dwell in that kind of footage that Katya and Maurice were so bold to capture. And I think you know watching it as a viewer there were so many lessons that I learned you know from both you know the duo so what is it that you learned from them um, you know out of all of the lesson what was the most poignant for you and then I'll ask you what you learned from them. I think just what it is to live a meaningful life and die a meaningful death and to move closer and closer to greater understanding of each other, of the planet, even though we'll never be able to fully understand. Yeah. Uh, I definitely second Shane in that beautiful um, summation. Um, I think for me too, I learned the utter sentience and, and power of the earth. Like volcanoes are just so alive. They possess an intelligence unto themselves. So many people think of the earth as, as dead or inert or a resource to be capitalized upon, but no, you, you can't ever think that with volcanoes. Um, they're so tremendous and powerful. So that's one thing. I'm just, um, just my mind is, is blown, I think, when I really think about, um, again, that the world was made uh, by this force. Um, yeah, the kind of creative and destructive powers that um, kind of truly lay like literally and figuratively at the heart of the earth.